You might think you know Nick Fury and the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but here are 12 facts you may not have known about Marvel's top cops. Colonel Nicholas J. Fury first appeared in 1963's Sergeant Fury and His Howling Commandos No. 1 by Jack Kirby and Stan Lee. The international espionage and law enforcement agency known as S.H.I.E.L.D. first appeared in 1965's Strange Tales No. 135, also by Jack Kirby and Stan Lee. For the first 25 years of its publication history, the acronym S.H.I.E.L.D. stood for Supreme Headquarters International Espionage Law Enforcement Division. In 1991, the acronym was changed to mean Strategic Hazard Intervention Espionage Logistics Directorate. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it stands for Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement and Logistics Division. Since Nick Fury's adventures as a sergeant during World War II were being told in comics at the same time as his adventures as a modern-day spy, the modern Fury was given an eye patch to distinguish him visually. In story, it was explained that Fury had been hit in the eye with shrapnel in the war, which slowly took his eyesight. The first appearance of the modern spy Fury was in 1963's Fantastic Four No. 21, a few months after the debut of the Howling Commando Fury. In this story, he was a member of the CIA, not S.H.I.E.L.D., and he did not yet have his iconic eye patch. In a 2010 miniseries called S.H.I.E.L.D., it was revealed that the agency has roots going back to ancient Egypt, where it was an occult organization called the Brotherhood of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Over the years, notable members included Leonardo da Vinci, Galileo, Isaac Newton, and Nostradamus. The reason that Nick Fury doesn't look 100 years old despite being a World War II veteran is that after being injured by a landmine at the end of the war, Fury was given an experimental serum called the Infinity Formula, which greatly slows his aging as long as he gets annual doses of it. There have been many notable agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., including former Howling Commandos Dum Dum Dugan and Gabe Jones, the Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, Clay Quarterman, Jimmy Wu, and Sharon Carter. Superhero members have included Black Widow, Spider-Woman, Mockingbird, and the third Ant-Man. A number of important figures have headed up the S.H.I.E.L.D. organization as well. Significant S.H.I.E.L.D. directors include Nick Fury, Dum Dum Dugan, Sharon Carter, Maria Hill, Tony Stark, a.k.a. Iron Man, Norman Osborn, a.k.a. The Green Goblin, Steve Rogers, a.k.a. Captain America, and Daisy Johnson, a.k.a. Quake. A new version of Nick Fury debuted in Marvel's Ultimate Universe in 2001's Ultimate Marvel Team-Up No. 5. In his original appearances, he had hair and a clean-shaven, younger look. However, when he reappeared in The Ultimates No. 1, he was drawn to look like Samuel L. Jackson, leading eventually to Jackson playing the character in the movies. In 2012, a mini-series called Battle Scars introduced a new character named Marcus Johnson. Over the course of six issues, Johnson loses an eye, shaves his head, and learns that Nick Fury is his father and that his real name is Nick Fury Jr., giving the main Marvel Universe a Nick Fury who looks surprisingly like the movie one. Following the murder of the cosmic being known as the Watcher, Nick Fury Sr. is sent to investigate. It is revealed not only that Fury's infinity formula is wearing off, but that he was the one who killed the Watcher. Afterward, he is imprisoned on the moon, sentenced to be the Watcher's replacement, known as the Unseen. S.H.I.E.L.D. is hardly the only covert agency with an acronym name in the Marvel Universe. Related agencies include S.W.O.R.D., the Sentient World Observation and Response Department, Armor, the Alternate Reality Monitoring and Operational Response, WAND, the Wizardry, Alchemy, and Necromancy Department, and Hammer, the agency that replaced S.H.I.E.L.D. after the secret invasion, and whose name doesn't actually stand for anything. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Comics. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Comics Alliance for more comic facts, and check out ComicsAlliance.com for more comic awesomeness. For more comic awesomeness. Check out